together for Janet Hyde! I'm just gonna start out with a little complaint up top real quick. Uh, one, of my, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people can't accept compliments. And by people, of course, I mean women. Guys are great at taking credit whether they deserve it or not, you know. But a lot of women are very uncomfortable with compliments. And it could be like the simplest thing. It could be like, Denise, what a lovely blouse you're wearing today. And she's just gonna be like, no, 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 no. Me a liar. Just say thank you. Just take the compliment. You know, it's not that big a deal. Uh, me, I'm the total opposite. I love compliments. I'm great at them. I am too good at taking compliments, in fact, because if a guy is hitting on me and he tells me I'm beautiful, I say thanks. I know. <laughs> And they do not like that. Uh, they don't like it at all. Uh, we get very mixed messages about self-confidence in this country, because it's like, boys can call you pretty, but you shouldn't agree with them. Uh, because if you do, they want to snatch it right back, you know? They'll be like, yeah, well, what I meant was, you're kind of chubby and you got a big nose. And it's like, yeah, I know, I thought that's what you liked. <laughs> this is confusing. Um, over the years, I've developed a reputation among my friends for dating very small men. Um, just a lot of slim hip shorties in my past. No big deal. It's cool. Um, but as a result, I've never understood the concept of boyfriend jeans. Because it's like, yeah, right, like a woman could fit into a man's pants. Ridiculous. <laughs> Unrelated, unrelated side note, I've weighed more than my dad since the eighth grade. I'm not, I'm not exclusively attracted to little guys. Uh, I like people of all sizes and genders. Uh, I just last year opened up my dating profiles to everybody. No applause? Okay, Brooklyn. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was in a safe place, but um, but yeah, for me, I've realized that like dating women and non-binary folks is exactly the same as dating men, except now I have to learn astrology. <laughs> um, I've and so I've learned that I am a Pisces sun and a Gemini moon rising, which means something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys Guys complain that it's hard to get women off, but I think they should just learn how to read a star chart, you know? <laughs> like, that's how to make a woman kind of just affirm that her very vague personality traits are written in the stars. <laughs> um, if you see me on any given day wearing a bold cat eye, you know, like a lot of eye makeup, uh, it might be because I'm feeling fancy, uh, but it's probably because my hand slipped that morning, right? And then I had to get into an eyeliner arms race with myself, just raising the stakes left and right, you know? Uh, that's what happened to Cleopatra. Like, she wasn't going for that look, she just had a rough morning and had to commit, you know? Sometimes just gotta lean in. Um, <laughs> I, one thing, just a real left turn here, I really want to be a mom, uh, I really want to have kids, that's a thing I want to do, uh, but right now no one has uh, chosen to go on that journey with me, uh, so right now like my plan A for motherhood is to create a Mamma Mia situation. You guys know this movie? <laughs> okay, Mamma Mia is a musical that uses 70s pop music to tell the tale of a young woman who invites three strangers that her mom had sex with 20 years ago to her wedding to figure out who her daddy is, you know? Uh, and they're singing and dancing and no slut shaming at all. It's a beautiful fantasy. Uh, but so my version would be a little different. And my version, instead of a young Meryl Streep having a summer of love in the Isles of Greece to the music of ABBA, my version, I'll be a hardened 30-something in Cancun on a mission, you know? 
Go to Senior Frogs, take it home a different frat boy every night without exchanging contact information. Have a margarita in one hand, ovulation strips in the other, right? I may lose a little dignity, but I'll get that, baby! <laughs> the soundtrack will be Kesha. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know if any of you have looked into the logistics of single parenthood, but it's expensive. Does anybody know how much one vial of sperm costs? Seven hundred dollars! And that's like average sperm. That is state school sperm. Seven hundred dollars. And that's just for one shot, right? You might have to do it a bunch of times to get knocked up. So now we're talking two, three grand for something I could scoop off my titties for free? I don't know. <laughs> If I'm gonna spend $3,000 to get pregnant, I might as well take a vacation to Cancun, all right? All right. That's it for me, you guys.